30th, and we're taking a look after a week at our Cobra Hive. Taking off the telescoping lid. Alright, so we have some nice activity in the center of box two. You want to zoom in on that. The bees look very calm again. I'm going to remove the small hive beetle trap. You want to take a look here. It's empty and I don't see any beetles on, on the top. So that's all good. All right, our goal today is to look into box two, see what kind of progress the bees have made, whether there's drawn comb, and let's take the front up, set it here. All right, so this outer frame is completely unworked. There's a little buzz. And the next one has a little bit of uh, work on it, a little comb drawn on the inner cut side. We have a pretty nice number of bees now on frame six. Let's take a quick look here. Alright, there's some nice heft to this frame. All right, this is the inner side, and you can see nectar being stored in the upper um, cells. This is the outer side. This comb is drawn also. I don't, I see a little pollen, but not much else. So they are working that. Put that back in. There's the beginnings of a little propolis in between the frames. There's the outer side. And we have a lot of drawn comb. There's some nectar that's being stored here. There's the inner side of that frame. the center of the hive, frame four. A lot of bees on here. I see pollen. The comb is pretty much fully drawn out here. And there's nectar, thick layers of nectar on the top of the frame. A little pollen, not too much. But this frame has really worked. And we'll take one more frame out from here. I don't see any brood up here yet. Which tells us the queen is still probably in box one. This frame is really heavy, which is nice. There's a little burr comb on the bottom. There's pollen, nectar. See that? And on the inner side of this frame, again, a good bit of nectar. And that frame is mostly drawn out. All right, well, let's take this box off and take a look at box one. I don't see any signs of uh, laying activity up here. So I'll put these back. Okay. Let's see if we can get this off. I'm going to set this over on top of the lid. Okay. So 
So what's going on here? All right, these bees are very calm. I don't think I need to smoke right now. Let's take a few frames out, see what's going on. So last week we looked in here and, or two weeks ago rather, and the frames were pretty well drawn out. We had a lot of brood. So we would expect to see more of that. This is the inside of frame eight. We have capped honey across the top, a little pollen down below. On the outer side, it's not worked yet other than some pollen. There, oh, there's a little comb, but it's not very thick. There's a little propolis here, too, in between the frames. Makes it a little sticky. Mm -hmm. Alright, here again we have capped honey in this corner. Nectar. It looks like there's some brood in the bottom. There's some uncapped larvae down at the bottom of this. Uh, a few open cells. Can you get a close-up of this, Bob? Sure, there's no coin over here. All right. So the uncapped larvae is in the bottom corner where my finger's pointing. We have capped honey here uh, and capped brood as well. So this is a multi purpose frame. Still not fully drawn out though. The inner part of the frame, we've got the good pattern going. There's capped honey across the top in an arc and down the sides. And then in the middle of where my right hand is, there, again, there's capped brood, some open cells with capped larva. And we'll put this back in place. Uh, we're still on the lookout for the queen. All right, here, this is almost entirely brood. Here's a drone cell right here. See the bump? That bump is to accommodate the larger size of the drone. Do you have a close-up of that, Bob? You can bring it up closer to the lens All if right. you like. There we go. Got it. So again, there's a lot of cat brood. There's some open cells. And let's take a look on the other side of this frame. So it looks like all right, we have more open cells. A lot of larvae, so we should have a big patch here pretty soon. Let's see where that queen is. I think we're good. You think we're good? I think we're good. Yeah. You don't need to go all the way through that. Let me just pull one more out. I'm going to pull out one more frame, just because. There's bees all the way through to frame one on the far side here. And even if we don't see the queen today, we have evidence of recent laying. I, I am not a good spotter of eggs. All right, this girl here has a nice pollen pack yet in her sacks. See uh, the waggle dance going on here? Yeah, right there. Do you have a close up here? I have the waggle dance, yeah. Good. All right, let's 
look on the other side here. A lot of open brew compartments. Emerging um, adults. I don't see the queen here, but I think we're good for today. All right. There's another way to dance going on over there. Alrighty. So the bees are happy. Notice I didn't uh, smoke at all, other than initially at the entrance. Um, so I'm. So far, everything looks good here. I'm going to close this up. We've seen recent brood, not eggs, but that doesn't mean they're not there. It just means I can't see them. We've got pollen. We have capped honey. So we have food sources, and we have brood. The bees are calm. So that being said, the only change I'm going to make today is I'm going to take the, the feeder off because I think somehow the um, center dome's not in place right because it's drowning bees and I don't want that to continue. And right now there's plenty of forage, uh, so I'll keep an eye on these girls to make sure they don't go hungry. Set that back in place. Make sure it's dressed. Remove the frame holder. Top box back on. And I think we can just pop it right back on place. Like that. You need a lid. Uh, there's one in the shed. And I'm going to put the um, beetle trap back in place here. Now, because we're taking the um, feeder box off, we have to get an inner lid. So Bob went to get that from our shed. We'll put that in place, then we'll put the telescoping cover on and see what's going on with the feeder. And that's good for today. Thanks for watching.